it's been very crazy, um, but I think most importantly, very exciting. Um, when I was a kid, I, I would watch TV and just, I would watch the draft all the time. Like, that could be me one day. And just get into college and just like not knowing if it'll work out and then waking up and I'm in Philadelphia and all I'm hearing is you can be drafted. You know, that's that's amazing. It's a blessing. And um, just for me to be here is just, you know, it's it's still like a dream. Like I, I had to wake up in the morning and like really check and see if I was still in Philadelphia because it's it's that amazing to me. Um, you know, just my mom calling me and telling me how proud she is. My dad telling me how proud he is. My, my grandmothers are coming. My little brothers are just like. Like, my little brother texted me one morning randomly and just said, you're really an inspiration, and that's what I live for, you know, just motivating them and making sure they become the best version of themselves. John, a lot was made about the shoulder surgery after the combine performance. Uh, where are you with, with the shoulder, and what is your timetable in, in terms of returning to the football field? So I'm just about six weeks weeks out right now, um, and I should, be, I should be clear by July, end of July. Um, you know, uh, not not doing so much contact in August, but definitely ready for the season. I think that's the biggest part. So the start of training camp, you feel like that's a realistic target? Definitely. And how about just the pre-draft process for you? I mean, did you get out to a lot of uh, private workouts or visits? Any team showing interest? Uh, well, 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 no private workouts due to the shoulder, um, but a lot of visits, uh, five. I don't know if that's a lot, <laughs> but, you know, so a few visits. Um, Uh, not at all. I, I don't think so. I think I think it made me get a little bit more noticed. Um, but it's, I think it's funny how people people who didn't know me just come in and say, "Now I'm I'm relevant because I ran a 4.22." When I, I, I honestly feel like I was I was a top three receiver. Um, not me saying it, but a lot of people were already saying it before I, I was even at the combine. Um, and I honestly wasn't even going to run at the combine because I, I wanted to get surgery early because I wanted to be ready for camp. You know, I think that was more important than me running a 4-2-2, you know, just me, me being available. Um, but once we did the calculations of, and the time timetable about everything, it was it wasn't it was it lined up perfect. So that's why I go ahead and I went ahead and uh, ran and, and kind of wanted to compete. Were you tempted to wear the cheetah? What, what the cheetah? Uh, just to follow up on that question, the cheetah cleats that would have got you the island, did you uh, consider wearing those at all? Yeah, you know, it's funny. So I kind of, I trained in Adidas and Nike during, um, but I just kind of, I've always worn Nike my whole life. Uh, so it wasn't, it wasn't about the island. Um, I think this game is, and my life is bigger than trying to win an island. Um, that wasn't my focus. Uh, my, my focus was competing and um, just showcasing my talent. Um, not competing for an island. I, I think guys who are competing for an island is you doing it for the wrong reasons. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that, that wasn't really my focus. As teams are